Hi everybody, it's Hilary Ward here from The Dream Unlocked, and this is the 12th step, how to be a working TV actor live office hour session for the month. Right now, it looks like nobody has joined, so I'm gonna stick around for a bit, but um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this month's module. This last month, as you know, we began the process of introducing different ways to market and brand yourself. And the big part of that, a big part of that, and a big tool that helps you figure out everything else really is learning what your emotional type is. So if you look on the website in this month's 12 step, how to be a working TV actor module, you'll see that it takes you through step by step how to determine what your emotional type is. Now, following that is a video where April goes through the process with some actors. I would highly, I mean, I think that all the content that I put up as part of the modules are really useful, but I think for this module especially, it is very important after you've started on the work to watch April actually work through the process with actors because um, as much as you can write it down, sometimes it takes talking it out. Now, I know that a lot of you guys are taking the 12-step course because it's the most affordable option for you to be able to get the information. You can work at your own pace um, and it just isn't your budget to do one-on-one -on -one coaching or even some of the group classes and that's completely fine, I understand that. But what I would say is if you cannot um, do live coaching with us, even though your your 12-step membership subscription does offer you some discounts and I believe a short call with April, um, I, would, I would start saving up for that because these emotional cords are really the key to lock so many aspects of your life as an artist. What your emotional type, figuring out what your emotional type does for you, is it helps you to understand the particular lens that you have that you're seeing the world through. And sometimes we don't have that self-awareness about ourselves because we're just in it, we're doing it. But when you start looking at the way that you respond to art, when you start looking at the list that you make, the hundred things that scare you, the hundred things that you love, the hundred things that make you cry, um, you'll start to see these themes that recur over and over and over again. And that gives you an idea of your emotional type. What are the things that you were put on this planet for your soul to learn, for you to discover, for you to work through? And for us as actors, as writers, as creators, that is going to come through in, in our work. So I would highly, highly encourage you to make sure that you watch that video. Um, speaking to that, I just want to also let you guys know about some things that are coming up. So th today you would have gotten an email from April that is introducing the dreaming out loud technique. Really, this is another iteration of emotional cords, but whether you're an actor, whether you're a writer, if you're just at a point in your life where things feel like they aren't working the way that they should, if you're feeling stuck, then I highly recommend subscribing to these emails and just following the Dreaming Out Loud technique. Uh, in November, April is going to take a group of very brave and adventurous people on a retreat across the country of Morocco, her new home. They're gonna see the mountains, they're gonna see the cities, they're gonna see the deserts. They're gonna, they're gonna eat the food, they're gonna meet the people, they're gonna go to the spas and have this, it, just life-changing experience. But part of the trip is that she's also going to lead them through the dreaming out loud technique. So maybe you've been thinking about writing a TED talk. Maybe you've been thinking about writing a play. Maybe you've been thinking about starting a new career. Maybe you want to revamp your acting career. Maybe you want to write a write a project for yourself. Using the dreaming out loud technique is a great way to do that. So you're gonna see four emails once a week leading up to the actual retreat, then you'll be able to get live uh, posts from April from Morocco. Um, she's gonna, she's gonna reach out on the back of a camel, I bet. I don't know, you just have to stay tuned. She's gonna be in a caftan, I know that. Um, but you should follow that.
And then um, we're gonna go through also just uh, introduce a course and a technique to assess where you are in your career, where you are in your life at the end of the year and to help you start setting some goals to step into your new story, to rewrite your story in 2019. So that's what I want you to be on the lookout for. Um, speaking of people who are um, writing their own stories, rewriting their stories, rewriting the story of what it is and how they've seen themselves represented in media. I want you guys to, I'm going to put this in the link down here in the comments. Um, this actress, Ngozi Anwanyu, came out of my program, UCSD, a few years after I did. And uh, she wrote this first play, Good Grief, all about her experience of losing her best friend, of having love and losing it. Um, and these were just kind of musings and stuff that she was doing on her own until she realized that she had a play. She's now written several major plays. The This particular play, Good Grief, is about to open off-Broadway. Um, she's starring in it, and it is also directed by um, another just badass woman, Awoye Tempo. If you're in New York, make sure that you don't miss it. Um, but Ngazi talks about in this article how she wrote this and how a lot of her girlfriends who were first generation Nigerian were decided that they needed to write their own stories because they weren't seeing the Africa that they knew in the stories that were getting produced on Broadway and in Hollywood. They were seeing productions like Ruined. They were seeing The Overwhelmed, which are amazing, important pieces of art, but they are based in the pain that people are experiencing in Africa, and there's so much more out there than just that one, um, that one experience, that pain. Um, and so they wanted to show the other side of it, the family, their family lives, their school lives, the way that they grew up. And this, and so check out the article, it's there in the, in the comments below. Um, but it's just an example of you have a unique experience. You have a voice. You have something to offer that has never been here before. And by using the emotional cords, you get to figure out what that is. By using the dream out loud technique, you get to figure out what that is. So I want you to dig in deep. I want you to take the time. And this isn't going to be, this month's module is not something that you can just simply knock out in, you know, 30 minutes. It's going to take you a long time. It's going to take a long time to make those lists. It's going to take a long time to analyze the results, but it's worth the effort because the self-knowledge that it gives you is extremely empowering as you are talking to your agents, as you are trying to decide looks for headshots, as you are figuring out the types of characters and the types of stories that you're attracted to that you should be writing, or the, the directors who are writing archetypes like the ones that you can play. So when you go through that, make sure that you post questions in the forum. I'm about to wrap up the office hours today because no one has joined me, but post in the forums, post on the page, ask people questions and definitely go through and watch that video because that, that's on the page. It's going to be extremely, extremely useful to you. I'm so proud of you for making the investment in yourself for making the investment in your career. This is not for the faint of heart. It is for brave people, people of courage who are willing to look inside and see what it is about them that they are ready to transform, how they can get themselves unstuck with the circumstances that have been given them and rewrite a new story. So thank you, this is Hillary Ward signing off and wishing you love, light, peace, and power, bye.